What is up YouTube? Today I am going to start a new series that's going to help you guys learn some quick tips and tricks for your Lightroom and Photoshop workflow. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the eyes pop just a little bit more in your photos. Let's jump on the screen and you can see exactly what I'm going to do. So for starters, I'm going to actually come over here to the layer panel. I'm going to create a new layer here, which the shortcut on the windows is control shift N. It's going to bring up this new layer window. I'm going to go ahead and just hit OK. Now we're going to zoom in just a little bit more and we can see there's a decent catch light here under the eyes. However, I want to bring out the color just a little bit more. So to get started, we're going to click our elliptical marquee tool. And we're going to kind of just pull it around the shape of the eye a little bit. I usually like to go slightly more narrow though. I'm going to right click on the inside and then I'm going to go ahead and hit feather. We want our feather radius to be 5 pixels. And then we're going to keep this unchecked. We're going to hit OK and then once more we're going to right click on the inside and we're going to click fill. Now here we want the contents to be white, the blending mode to be normal and the opacity 100 and we're going to keep Preserve transparency unchecked and as you can see it's going to give us a white but feathered out edge of this shape that we created. I'm going to actually click on the inside, hold down and slide up just a little bit and then let go. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. This is just going to further help us create the shape that we're going to put this on top of the eye. I'll show you right now what I mean. And then I'm going to hit control T. This is going to bring our transform tool up and then I usually just grab the top right corner and this allows us to move it and skew it however we want, helping us to create the exact shape we need for the eye. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK, or in this case, Enter. And as you can kind of see, we're getting a little bit closer to the result that we want, but it looks a little weird, obviously, because it's super white. So I'm gonna actually come over here to the layer, make sure that's highlighted, and then I'm gonna go to the blending modes. Usually, you don't have to play with this too much. Um, I generally just hit overlay, and that gives me exactly what I want, as you can see here. Now, I'll uncheck it so you can see this is the before, and this is the after. It gives it just like a nice little punch to the eye, as you can see. Now, one thing to notice though, is it's kind of uh, bleeding over here. So, you can easily just grab your eraser tool, come in and uh, Keep the brush just slightly smaller and then just erase it right here. That'll give you a slightly more natural look. Now depending on the type of eyes you are editing, sometimes this might be a little, little too much. Um, in which case you can actually just highlight your layer that the, um, the marquee is on and slide down the opacity and as you can see right here, you can adjust how bright you may want the eye or how subtle you may want it. Now from here what you can actually do is um, just hit control shift alt and you can actually just quickly create a copy of that layer and drag it over so you have a very very similar looking um, shape and then you can just literally just drag it over to the other eye. I'm just going to kind of feather it out here with my eraser and then we'll zoom out and see how it looks. See, now we got a nice pop. As we can see, this eye right here is a little bit brighter though and it doesn't look too natural, so we're gonna actually bring down the opacity just a tad. Maybe a little bit more. And there you go. That looks a little more natural. And then I think I'd just bring this one down just slightly as well. Maybe this one a little bit more. And there you have it. An easy, quick, and non-destructive way to make the eyes pop in your photos. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as I'm coming out with new videos for you guys every single week.